On July 3rd, 2023, we have a Capricorn full moon. And Capricorn is the stoic, traditional sign that wants to get things done and achieve. It's ruled by disciplined Saturn. So Capricorn takes things seriously, is focused, sticks to plans, and keeps the long view in mind. Like the previous Sagittarius full moon, Capricorn full moons aren't too emotional either. But with Sagittarius, it's because it's too optimistic. With Capricorn, it's because it's too focused on what has to be done. Capricorn is the sign of goals and direction, so we're extra focused on making progress with our goals and paths. We want to achieve in some way, hit our stride, and hit new heights with the Capricorn full moon, and this can inspire us to keep going. If we've done things the right way and for the right reasons, we can get rewarded for that and move upward. If we haven't done the right thing for the right reasons or haven't been passionate about it, we can experience setbacks, delays, and blocks. We can make smarter choices, be considerate of what we're doing, and work on being honest with ourselves about whether or not this is what we want. This full moon is opposite Mercury in Cancer, and trine, which is a beneficial aspect, Jupiter in Taurus. The trine to Jupiter helps open up our minds a little, and we can feel more optimistic about our opportunities and where we're going. The opposition to Mercury can bring challenging communications and focus, and we have to work harder to stay focused and be better listeners. With the hard aspect to Mercury and easy aspect to Jupiter, we likely have an easier time with the big picture with this full moon, but can struggle with the details and have to work on getting a better handle on that. Leading into this full moon, the Sun and Mercury conjunct on July 1st. And in the days before, they're both trying Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn. This helps us get comfortable with this Capricorn energy and makes us even more ambitious. The Sun and Mercury aligning can bring a culmination of some sort, a result we've been watching out for, and the Capricorn full moon helps bring this out. If you've been working on something for the last couple of months, this may be when you see something happen with it. One week after the full moon, Mars enters Virgo on July 10th, and this can increase our work ethic, help us get little things out of the way, and we can be more attentive and detailed. We can enjoy working on smaller projects, tasks, and chores, and the more we do, the more we want to. Virgo is a fellow Earth sign with Capricorn, and Mars helps bring energy to get down to business. Mercury enters Leo on July 11th, and this can stimulate creative ideas and help us look at the bright side. We can move out of a subjective focus colored by emotion and try to be more positive. Creative goals and projects can get a boost and focus can be great for that. For everyone, look at any Capricorn parts of your natal chart to gauge the impact of the Capricorn full moon. For those who are a little more advanced, also consider your progressed and return charts, and if in a relationship, your composite chart. By sign, Aries may focus on the goals you want to hit your stride with during the Capricorn full moon, and you can focus on doing things the right way and for the right reasons. This can help you hit new heights with the things you've already been working on and set yourself up well for anything new. Your foundation may require some strengthening to help you. Taurus can become more invested in your beliefs with the Capricorn full moon and can give them more of your attention. If your beliefs don't align with you anymore, you may work to find new ones that do. You can talk things over with others and improving communication and removing blocks to understanding can go a long way. Gemini may strive to get to the heart of a matter with the Capricorn full moon, and this can help you find solutions, take more control, and feel more empowered. Your ability to investigate can be excellent right now, and you can use passion and intensity to assist you. You may want to work on balancing this with getting some time off to relax. Cancer can give attention to others with the Capricorn full moon, and someone may need some help from you, or you may act as a cheerleader for someone you care about. You can also focus on partnerships and projects that require you to work for others. This may need to be balanced with focus on yourself so you're not ignoring yourself as you help others. Leo may strive to get work done with the Capricorn full moon, and you can tackle any tasks, chores, and projects that have piled up. The more you do, the more you may want to do, and you can keep yourself busy. Get organized to maximize your time, 
but also balance this out with some time alone to rest and recharge so you don't overdo it. Virgo can connect to your heart with the Capricorn full moon and you can be more affectionate, loving, romantic, and inspired. This can be great for love relationships, dates, and vacations, as well as creative projects and ventures. You may want to get more time to have fun with your hobbies and not be too serious with this full moon. Libra may tend to your emotional needs with the Capricorn full moon, as well as give support to those you care about and tend to matters at home. This can help you feel more solid and secure emotionally. You may want to work on strengthening your internal and external foundation as well, and you can feel more balanced when you do. Scorpio can finalize plans for your ideas with the Capricorn full moon, and you can soar through the ideas and plans you have to drill down on the ones you're most interested in. You can tend to your mind as well, and make sure you're keeping the little picture in mind as you also formulate big ideas and big plans for the long term. Sagittarius may focus on bringing more stability to your life with the Capricorn full moon, and you can work on slowing things down, taking your time and not being in a rush. This can help you hit your stride, and you can feel confident in where you're going. You may need to ground your passionate energy so you don't get frustrated, though. Capricorn can give yourself more attention with the full moon in your sign, and this is generally a time to tend to your own wants and needs. You can also see results of something you've done or decisions you've made, and this can inform your next steps. You may need to balance this out with focus on others, and make sure you're considering other opinions as well. Aquarius may need some time to yourself with the Capricorn full moon, and you can take that time to rest and recharge. Others may be easily draining, so some time away can be a good thing. If you're super run down, try to figure out what the root cause of that is so you can address it. You may be tempted to work yourself ragged, but try to avoid this and get enough time to rest. Pisces can finalize changes with the Capricorn full moon, and you can see the results of changes you've already made, and make decisions about the ones you're working on. You can become more invested in change and can be more willing to do things independently. A little creative energy can help push you along the way. So that's it. Wishing you love like a pixie dust with the Capricorn full moon.